Meteorologist Kate Bilo joins us now, and spring is in full effect, mm. Kate. This yes. is great. Spring has sprung. Yes. You know, even yesterday it was a little on the cool side mm -hmm. and cloudy, but it kind of felt nice mm -hmm. and refreshing. Very nice. in the 60s. Today a little bit warmer. Mm -hmm. And all we've week. got yeah, we've got a really good stretch of 70s That's all great. week long. Cool. A few ups, a few downs, but we're gonna be in the 70s right through the start of the weekend. And only really one day we're gonna really have to be watching for shower and thunderstorm activity. So some good news there. Let's take a look at what's going on outside. We'll take you out to Plymouth Meeting. A few clouds have developed. They've bubbled up, especially off to the north and west. There's a weak front overhead, which again, the first half of the day was full sunshine. Now a few more clouds. Feels a little cooler out there, but it's still very nice with temperatures in the 70s. Still some blue sky, just a few clouds and maybe a stray sprinkle or two. Not much more than that. You can see this weak frontal boundary really just falling apart as it moves into the region here this evening. A few clouds, especially to the north and west, but not a ton as far as rainfall is concerned. A couple of scattered sprinkles here and there, but most of you will get through tonight without any worry about rainfall. Maybe just a few flicks of the windshield wiper if you're out and about later tonight. You can see a couple of spotty showers could be popping up at this front kind of fizzles very quickly. Overnight, skies will clear for the most part. It will end up partly cloudy and the best chance again for showers this evening will be off to the west. So if you're headed to the Phillies game tonight, the forecast looks pretty good. 73 degrees at 7.05 at first pitch, still 71 by 8.30 and then dropping nicely into the 60s by 10 o'clock as the game draws to a close. So this evening, that stray shower, especially off to the west. Otherwise, it's partly cloudy. Temperatures eventually dropping to the 60s and overnight will be down into the 50s. A cool, crisp night. That means a nice start to tomorrow morning as well. It's partly cloudy and comfortable at 52 degrees. What to expect moving forward? Look at this seasonable stretch. Our average high is 72. We'll be right at that mark here tomorrow, and then it starts to warm up out ahead of a cold front. So our cold front, you can kind of guess where it comes through. Thursday afternoon, it'll knock back the temperature just briefly on Friday, and then it starts to climb again as we head into the upcoming weekend. Mother's Day weekend, race for the cure. Temperatures on Sunday look to head toward the 80s. But look at this stretch. The next five days will be in the 70s, and it feels pretty much exactly like May is supposed to feel. First half of the week today, again, a couple of scattered showers here this evening. Then high pressure slides off the coast, and we get dry conditions clearing out through midweek and high temperatures are seasonable with this spring like pattern in place. So your eyewitness weather seven day forecast looks pretty fantastic. Thursday best chance for late day or evening showers and storms as a cold front comes through. That'll knock us back to 74 degrees on Friday. Saturday looks like a great start to the weekend. Patchy clouds breezy and warm at 78 and then a race for the cure and Mother's Day Sunday. It's going to be warm and steamy. 85 degrees the daytime high coming up in our next half hour. We'll kind of have a race for the cure start time mm. forecast so you know how to dress if you're joining us out at the Art Museum on Indeed. Sunday. Great. I'll be paying close attention. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks, Kate.